So today we're going to teach you how to find the new model release form. So you're going to open up your app, the Nash County Public Schools app. On the bottom right hand side, you'll go to rooms. You'll pull up rooms, select your child, or if you have multiple children, you'll have to do this one by one because it's the consent per child. So in our case, we have our fake Nash County Public Schools student. Her name is Eloise. And for your child, what's important, you'll notice the new class that's in your child's room list. It's going to be the name of their school and then the grade in which they're in. So for example, if they're at Rocky Mount High School, it will say Rocky Mount High, the number nine. If they are at Winsted Avenue, Elementary, it will say Winsted Avenue K or Winsted Avenue 2 for second grade. So you'll click on that. And so in my case, it's communications department test. Then you'll see the materials folder. And so when you press materials, you'll see a mandatory folder. Click on that mandatory folder. And then you'll see updated model release forms. You'll click on that. And so it explains to you what the model release form is, which if you have a child in Nash County Public Schools, you should know what that is. And this tells you that you're opting your child in. If you complete the form, if you don't complete it, it will be automatically assumed as an opt out. And the only time you'll have to do this form again is when you have your child go to like the next school or they move up from elementary to middle or middle to high school. So next, you'll start the form. You need to put your child's school. I encourage you to spell it out. You can use the acronym, that's fine, but we would love it if you could write out the name, your child's name, and the grade in which your child's in. You can put K for kindergarten, first, second, third, that's fine, numerics are fine. So the next question is to opt in yes or confirmation of a, the above choice. You can choose either or. Both of those mean you're opting your child in. Again, both of those mean you are opting your child in. Please put your best phone number. We need your parent name. We need your best email for form of contact. I encourage you to use the email address that you normally use and check on the regular. And then you will need to do an electronic signature, follow the prompt. And then once you follow the prompt, you can tap the box and type in your name. It will show you the electronic signature disclosure and consent form in which you will need to agree to that if you so wish to agree to that. The next part is an authentication code will pop up. So you're gonna send an, receive an email and that email will contain six numbers. You'll have to get those numbers and insert it here. Once you put those numbers in, you'll confirm it, and then voila, you've completed the form. And this just helps verify that you are the parent or guardian of a child. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.